that seems to be the triad that gets you banned, that gets you silenced, and that gets suspicious emails from YouTube. One of my most popular videos on YouTube, unfortunately, is a video about being shadow banned in comments. In fact, you can find quite a few complaints in a lot of my videos about the YouTube comment system in general being pretty much a disastrous mess moderated by artificial intelligence that constantly deletes lots and lots of wonderful comments that are well thought out and insightful. So why did that happen? Where did that go? Where did my comment go? What is going on? In fact, it's pretty much useless at this point to try and have a discussion about anything serious in YouTube comments, because YouTube will probably nuke all of your hard work without giving you the opportunity to recover it. My most popular video in this regard is a video about YouTube shadow banning people, comments not showing up pretty much uniform across the board, and it's unfortunate that that's the case. Throughout all of my videos discussing YouTube censorship, I've never really found anything consistent. YouTube's AI seems to be pretty harebrained. It doesn't really know what it's doing. It seems to make decisions just at random. And while you can kind of, sort of find trends, I've tripped upon something that, well, it's a little more sinister than you might expect. I had a conversation on Reddit, and I won't go into the details, but the bottom line is that I got banned from the R Linux subreddit for saying SJW twice. Literally, that's the reason that was given by the moderator that talked to me. We don't need people saying SJW here. That's it. That's all it takes for an open source developer to get banned from the Linux subreddit. But here's the thing. I had a greater conversation going on there about Brendan Eich and Mozilla and the downfall of Firefox and how Firefox sort of went down the tubes after Brendan Eich was ousted for making two political donations several years prior. This represents a milestone in tech history where social justice activists were able to infiltrate a tech company, ousting a founding member and replacing that leadership with their own that would service their agendas. Of course, now, if you try to go find articles or accurate information about Brendan Eich's ousting from Mozilla, all you'll find are articles about how he made some reprehensible anti-gay political contributions and has to be booted out. But here's the thing, this really seems like it's unrelated to YouTube and the YouTube comments, right? Well, I thought so too. But guess what? It seems that the same thing that got me banned from the Linux subreddit also is censored on YouTube. I've made comments trying to explain this same thing, the exact same thing about Brendan Eich and Mozilla and social justice warriors on YouTube, and the comments vanish within about 30 seconds. The same AI deletion that I've demonstrated in my shadow ban videos. These coincidences keep popping up, though. I got banned from the Linux subreddit for discussing this issue and the truth behind it. My comments got auto-deleted by YouTube's AI moderation for discussing this issue and the truth behind it. So imagine my shock when I leave another comment discussing this but not really getting into it, and this happens. What did I say? Let's read it. Don't use or support our Linux. I was immediately banned from there for saying SJW twice while explaining the downfall of Mozilla. That's literally the reason they gave. The moderators there are bad people, and the place should be nuked from orbit. Today at 10.19 AM. So imagine my shock when, at 12.12 12 PM the same day, this email comes in. Hi, Jody Bruchon. The YouTube community outreach team regularly reaches out to users who may not otherwise get an opportunity to share their thoughts with us. We're reaching out to you because members of the community were concerned about some of the comments you've posted on YouTube. We would like to hear about your experience. Please take a moment to complete our survey and share your thoughts. We're here to listen. After you take the survey, someone from our team may follow up to better understand your feedback. So I clicked to take the survey and there was one question. Tell us about your experience. Thinking about YouTube in general, how would you rate your sentiment towards the platform? I chose extremely negative. And here is what I said under, would you like to share more about your response above? Because let's face it, 
even though there's a good chance no human being will actually read this, if a human being does read this, we want them to get an earful. This is my response. Members of the community were concerned about some of the comments you posted on YouTube. Oh, really? Which comments? What specific reason were they concerned? Most importantly, which members of the community? YouTube is a platform not a community. You do not care about free speech. You make actual discussions impossible through artificial intelligence that is massively flawed, automatically deleting comments, often long, detailed, well thought out comments with lots of value, with no notice that you're doing so, and with no way for the author to recover their work. If anyone should be concerned, it's the users of YouTube who you treat with blatant disregard. I'm diversifying my presence to BitChute, Rumble, Brideon, Odyssey, and others because of your unethical behavior and abuse of the hard work of others. I demand to know exactly what comments were flagged and who flagged them and what concern they specified. Oh look, I didn't use a double quote at the beginning. I'm so embarrassed. I was on mobile. What am I supposed to do? I said yes. I would like to be contacted by email and I put my email address. Chances are extremely high that they will never contact me, of course. Quick update. As I was editing this video, this response came in to my survey. It's exactly as useless as you would expect it to be. If you really want to read it for some strange reason, pause the video and check it out. I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist. In fact, I tend to approach anything with a healthy dose of skepticism. However, it's very difficult for me to look at all of these disparate things that have a common theme and not assume that something is going on. Someone does not want you talking about this. And sure, maybe the nuke from orbit thing, which is actually a reference to Alien or Aliens, one of those movies, maybe that tripped someone's trigger, I'm not sure. But somehow I doubt it. Somehow it is such that only the things that discuss Mozilla, Brendan Eich, SJW, that seems to be the triad that gets you banned, that gets you silenced, and that gets suspicious emails from YouTube expressing vague concern over you not following the agenda, not following the party line, not following the drone NPC programming that you're supposed to. You've seen the evidence, you can decide for yourself. I'd love to hear what you think down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, go to jodybruchon.com to send me money because I could use your support to continue making videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.